After years of planning and preparation, a flawless launch for China's Chang'e 3 lunar probe. Named after an ancient Chinese moon goddess, the spacecraft will spend the next five days traveling to the moon. Once it's there, China's National Space Administration plans to maneuver, then carefully land the probe in an area named the Bay of Rainbows. It will then activate the robotic rover on board named U2, or Jade Rabbit. It's hoped the remote control vehicle will spend the next three months exploring the lunar surface. The three objectives are to manage to soft land a craft on the moon, to inspect and probe the lunar surface, and to be able to control and communicate with the craft during the mission. On board the craft are an advanced collection of cameras. These include an ultraviolet telescope scientists will use to observe the stars. Another will look at how solar radiation affects Earth. We can receive information about the rover's working conditions. We can also receive image data, that is to say information about the surrounding environment gathered from taking images. We use this information to send orders to control its function. In 1970, the Soviet Union became the first country to put a roving, remote-controlled robot on the moon with this rover. That was followed a year later by Apollo 15, which made use of this moon buggy to move astronauts and equipment. China's rover, though, is fitted with considerably more scientific instruments. It has a ground radar to examine up to 100 metres beneath the lunar surface. Scientists hope to understand what mineral resources exist on the moon, an important consideration for China's plans for future exploration. We still don't know a lot about the moon, about the mineral content, about uh, other materials that could be used uh, back here on Earth and certainly to be used on the moon for developing lunar bases and develop, for example, a space program that can be uh, based on the moon for further exploration of the solar system. In 2017, China wants to bring back a rock sample from the moon. Manned missions could follow in 2025, for now, though, its mission is to get Chang'e 3 to the moon and safely onto its surface. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.